Hello and welcome to this Hewlett Packard Enterprise Fortify video tutorial. In this video we're going to remediate a hard-coded password issue that is commonly found in the .NET language. This video assumes that the static code analyzer plugin for Microsoft Visual Studio is installed, the project compiles, and you have an encrypted password to replace the hard-coded one. First, go to the location where the issue was originally detected. Implement a method that will read the file, decrypt the password contained in it, and then return a byte array containing the decrypted password. Check the stream. If it is null, return an error. Now read the stream's input. Make a buffer that is the size of the stream's input. Contain the read action within an if statement to ensure it is valid. Then move the input to a secure byte array. Add a reference to the system.security library. Add a catch that will throw an error if the if statement fails. Now return the decrypted file stream buffer. Now create a method called getSQL credentials. It will use the method that was just created to make an SQL credential object. The SQL credential object takes a secure string object. Declare one here. The program needs a reference to system.security to use the secure string object. Add one to the reference list. Create an import statement to use secure string objects. Make a file stream to get the password file. Now get the password using the decrypt data from stream method. Get the password using decrypt data from stream. Transfer the password from the byte array to the secure string object. Stop copying when the method runs into its first null character. After copying the password, make the secure string object read only. Now use it to initialize the SQL credential object. Finally, clean up the decrypted password buffer so it doesn't leave data lying around. This method will return an already set up SQL credential using the decrypted password. Return the decrypted credentials. Now fix the main method using these implemented functions. First, delete the instance of the hard-coded password. Now, get the SQL credential using the getSQLCreds method. Use this method to set up the SQL connection object. The object can be used to make queries. It can also be used on any other object that takes an SQL connection object as an input. Create a new SQL adapter. This is the final step to securing the connection. With all of these changes added, rescan the program. The hard coded password issue should have been remediated. Please note that this isn't the only way to solve a hard coded password issue and that other solutions may be more secure. Please consult with your security expert and follow their advice. You can find the documentation for all Fortify products at protect724.hp.com. If you have any questions, 
Technical support can be reached at fortifytechsupport at hp.com. Thank you.